Hi guys, Chris Bear back again with another episode from my York City simulated career. We're going to look to get up to the transfer window done in this episode. We have a tough game coming up against Huddersfield, who are 11th in the table. We'll quickly get on and check the team ahead of this game. Okay, I don't think there's too many changes we need to make. Thiago Medeiros is in need of a break, so we'll bring Camacho in. Uh, both my strikers are in need of a rest as well, so we will bring Soriano into the team and Prenich. Other than that, I think we're going to keep the team as is. My midfield of Moreno Fuertes, Silva and Pavlovic has been playing quite well recently, so we'll keep that the same. And we'll look to get this game against Huddersfield underway as soon as we possibly can. Okay, the Huddersfield have won one of their last three. That was against Bristol City. They've lost to Chelsea and Reading recently. And they lose this game 3-0. Goals from Hayams and two from Prenich. One a penalty as well. Seal a 3-0 victory for York. As we have a monthly scouting report. Juan Marcos looks to be a good player. Can't sign him until next season, but we will look to sign him up as soon as we possibly can. Get this schedule moved on as quickly as possible. As we have a game coming up against Watford on the Tuesday night. Okay, last days is to submit the squad for Ecuador. I don't think there's any changes we really need to make, so we will get that squad in now. And we will get the schedule moved on up to this game against Watford, who are in 20th place in the league. Okay, players leaving on international duty. Valverde, Thiago Medeiros and Fraser Foster. Here we go, it's game day. Quickly check the squad. I don't really think there's many changes I want to make. See how everyone's energy levels are doing. Everyone is fine. Um, we'll bring my tr my main two strikers back in though, Canteros and Benzia, and we will get this game against Watford underway as soon as we can. Okay, here we go. Well, wow, Watford have been in shocking form. They have lost their last three games. 2-0 to Bristol City, 1-0 to Reading, and 2-1 to Nottingham Forest. And they lose this one, 2-1. Of course, from Canteros and Baker seal the victory, with Murray getting Watford's goal. Okay, York City show just how good Thiago Medeiros is. That's great news. And Bauer's choice pays off. Of here and Mia. And plenty of football, just what Pavlovic wanted. Oh, I shall get this show. Ooh, Butland fuming at roll. Oh well, we may look to loan you out in the January transfer window. But we have a couple of international friendlies coming up. That looks like Korea and America, I think. Look at those two badges. Yep, first game against Korea. Not even going to worry about the team, they're only friendlies. And get this game underway as soon as we can. Korea have been in mixed form, drew with India, but lost to Mexico and Cameroon recently. Okay, they beat us 1-0. One of our midfielders was sent off after six minutes. Not the greatest start to a game. Get this game against... Ah, who's that? Uh, Neil Taylor returns from injury. That's great news. And the game coming up against the USA for Ecuador. More importantly, so we shall get this game underway as soon as we can. I don't really think there's any need to, to have a look at the squad, really. Um, no real changes, I think. We can make obviously defenders we're a bit short on so energy levels were good for most of the players so we'll keep as is okay USA are unbeaten in their last three games they beat New Zealand and drew with Chile and South Africa and they beat us 2-0 two goals from King one in the second minute and one in the 80th as we have Thiago Medeiros injured out for two months that's bad news, but I do have some decent defensive cover in Camacho, Perez Alonso and Romare. Okay, so we'll check this team out ahead of the next game. Obviously, Thiago Medeiros can't come back into the team. Um, I think we're looking pretty good, although I do want to make Herman Mir my captain, so we'll switch the players around like that. Otherwise... It's a pretty good team. I know Taylor's back from injury, but he's not going to be fully fit yet. So we'll leave him out for now. And we'll get this game against Blackpool underway as soon as we can. Well, they've uh, 
won two of their last three, also playing Bristol City, Reading and Forest. And they lose to us 2-0. A goal from Soriano and D'Souza Silva. And we have a player suspended, D'Souza Silva, for too many yellow cards. OK, we can... Uh, I think that's easily going to be fixed by bringing Luke Shaw into the team. Ooh, tough game coming up against Crystal Palace in a few days' time. Currently lying fourth in the table, level on points with Blackburn on 37. Two points behind West Ham, who are second on 39. And Cardiff are the league leaders with 43 points. So we're not doing too bad. Seven points above QPR, who are just outside the playoff zone. So that's not too bad. Get this squad checked out. Obviously, D'Souza Silva needs to come out, and Luke Shaw is going to come into the team. D'Souza Silva also needs to come off the bench, and I'll bring Neil Taylor up. I know he's uh, not going to be a hundred percent fit, but if we can give him 20-30 minutes of football, that'll be great. Okay, Palace have well also played Bristol City, Reading, and Forest in their last three games. Shocker. And they won one, drawn one, and lost one. And they lose this one 4 0. Two goals for Benzia, one for Hayams, and one for Moreno Fuentes. As the suspension is over for De Souza Silva, Crystal Palace's manager questions assistant referee. Okay, didn't see the decision. Ooh, tough game coming up now. We've moved up to second in the table, ahead of West Ham, who we are playing now. This is a real tough game. Need to uh, make sure the squad is on fire for this game. Okay, Camacho is looking okay. Hayams will bring you out, and Taylor will. You can come in. Okay, Soriano, you can come into the side. Mattox, you can also come into the team. Benzia, I'll drop you completely and give Pranic a game. Let you rest up, Benzia. I think everything else is pretty good, so. We shall leave it as that, and we'll get on with this crucial game against West Ham, who have also played Bristol City, Reading and Forest in their last three games. OK, a one all draw. Winston Reid sent off after 26 minutes for West Ham. Taylor with a goal and 27 minutes for us, and Diami with an equaliser. Not too bad, considering it was second v third, but considering they had a player sent off, I am a bit gutted about the result. But there's nothing much we can do about it. And the day I've got to look at it as it's a point gained rather than two points lost. As Moreno Fuertes uh, suffered a pulled quad and he's out for three weeks. And we have a squad report. Juan Marcos again, the only player we've got. That's great. I'll definitely look to sign him up. But what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to actually set up some scouting networks. We have 150,000 in the budget. So we'll send our two scouts out. Trouble is, where do I go? Um, I think I may. Yeah, I'm going to go to Germany. I was wondering whether to go to Belgium or to Holland or to Germany. Um, can't afford nine months, so we'll have to do six months in Germany, searching for anyone. 126,000. Yep, we can afford that. And we've got 24,000 pounds for Harrison Shelby. Um, how much is it going to cost? England, 22,000 for three months. Yeah, why not? See if we can find anyone. Okay, hopefully we can find some new talent. But we'll get this schedule moved on. Quite a delay until the next game. As both my scouts have come back and told me they're setting up their network. We have a bit of a break. We've got a, a week till our next game. Which looked to be, I think, that was against Middlesbrough, who are thirteenth in the table. Could do with beating those and putting the pressure back on Cardiff. We're now eight points behind Cardiff, which isn't that great, but we're still seven points ahead of QPR, who are in seventh, just outside the playoffs. So we do have that nice bit of a buffer there, which will hopefully keep us um, in good. So if we can keep that up, then. We'll guarantee at least a playoff place, which is obviously the lowest expectation we have for the rest of the season. The highest is to win the league or finish second at least. But we'll quickly go and check this team ahead of this next game. Obviously, Moreno Fuentes out for a few weeks. So I think it's going to be Calvin Baker who comes in. 
Um, Rona Fuentes was on the bench, so we will bring you out. And is it going to be... Uh, who shall I bring in? Yeah, it may as well be Le Maire. He was uh, touted as a future star, so we'll give him some chances on the bench. And well, Borough have also played Bristol City, Reading and Forest in their last few games. Jesus EA, come on, sort this out. Okay, a 3-0 win for York, two goals for Taylor, one for Soriano from the penalty spot. And Cardiff won as well, so we are still eight points behind Cardiff. Two points ahead of Wolves, who are in third. And we're playing Wolves in our next game. Wow. Tough game. Draw at minimum we need out of that game. We are, then, we are away from home, so yeah, draw minimum from that game. Okay, we have a player returning from injury. Morena Fuertes has returned from injury. He'll be out for a couple more weeks. Well, he gets 100% fit, so we we'll definitely won't be playing him in this next two games. Okay, game day. Here we go. Quickly check the team out. I don't envisage there being any changes that we need to make as we've had a, a week's rest in between games. Form is looking really good for the team. Morale is low for a few players. But there's not really too much we can do about that. Once uh, the, some of the fringe players start playing a bit more and start winning with the team as Wolves have also played Bristol City, Reading and Forest in their last few games. Um, yeah, once the fringe, the fringe players start playing their morale will boost as we get a one-all draw and Soriano's out for two days with a bruised shoulder Blacent handball leaves Wolves manager fuming um okay well you say it was a blatant handball I say I didn't see it okay let's check this squad out ahead of the next game Soriano and Mattox are both low on energy We'll bring Canteros back in, and we'll also bring Benzia back into the team. Morale is looking pretty healthy, so is form. And we'll see if we can bounce back from that draw with a win. I say bounce back. It was a, it was a draw. We're still unbeaten in our last few games. Well, hey, Bristol City's finally changed, but probably because I'm playing Bristol City right, so they can't play them. Okay, a 2-1 win goes from Canteros and Taylor. Seal the victory for York. Not too long to go until the January transfer window is open. I'm going to bring a right back into the team. Other than that, I'm not too sure what we need to do. I think obviously we're going to have to sell before we can buy as we have no more money left in the budget. Okay, let's get this next game underway as soon as we can against 24th place Watford. I'm sure we only played them about four or five games ago. Okay, here we go. Check the squad out. Energy is looking okay apart from Benzia. But it's not too bad, so we'll leave it as is. I like this, the partnership of Canteros and Benzia. And Watford have played QPR, Millwall and Brighton in their last three games and lost all three. A few injuries and suspensions. Okay, one all draw. Abdi with a goal for Watford and Soriano off the bench to get the equaliser. As we have Canteros out for two days with a bruised elbow. And it's Christmas Day. Is Valverde part of York City's future, I'm being asked. Um, he's a squad player. Nothing more than that. Okay, a couple of games coming up. We have a game coming against Cardiff, I thought I saw. Before that, we've got a game against Huddersfield. Let's get both of these games done in this episode, then I'll call it a day. Okay, here we go. Go. Let's check the squad for the Huddersfield game. Energy's looking good. Form's looking okay. Luke Shaw will bring you out and bring D'Souza Silva back in. Uh, Camacho, I think you're the best defender we've got available there. Uh, Morale is looking good apart from Benzia. Soriano's is low. Well, Mattox is okay, so whole morale of the team is looking better. And we'll get this game against Huddersfield underway. We're in 11th in the table. Well, on a good run of form when their last three beat Barnsley 2-0, Blackburn 1-0 and Peterborough 4-0. So they've not conceded in their last three games. But they concede three in this game. One for Mattox, two for Taylor. And Lee Novak getting the goal for Huddersfield. Okay, we have a player suspended. 
Guillermo Silva suspended for picking up too many yellow cards. Transfer market is open. And we have a scouting report on Juan Marcos. Obviously nothing's changed. We know he's going to be a playmaking midfielder. Rated between 76 and 82. Eventually. So nothing much we can do. So we'll get this schedule moved on. See if we get any offers for any of our plays in the first few days of the transfer window. OK, Cardiff must have lost their last game. As we have some important news about Jack Butland. But we also have a couple of scouting reports. Um, OK, Persson doesn't look the greatest. Stutter will keep you scouted for now. And what's Harrison Shelby for us? Howard and Zaha both look absolutely garbage, to be fair. We'll reject the pair of them. And what have the board have to say? We're concerned about the disruption being caused by the Jack Butler situation. If you're not going to use a player, then we should get him off the books as he's costing us a significant salary. So please take the appropriate action involving him. Um, I'm, I want to keep him because I don't know how much longer we're going to have Fraser Forster for. Um, what are you worth, Butland? You're worth 3.3 and 7,500 a week on the wages. Um, I'm going to remove you from the transfer list and I'm going to add you to the loan list. And if I can loan you out, then I will do. At least your wages will be covered. And that's all I can really do right now, I think. I want to keep you and I'll probably loan you out next season as we'll have Fraser Foster next season and somewhat surprising news today York City have decided to allow Jack Bolton to head out on a temporary loan deal there's not much you can do really with it with Jack Bolton obviously allow him to do out on loan for the time being next season I may sell him hopefully he goes when he goes out on loan his value does increase but we shall have to see hopefully he puts in some good performances we'll get this game against Cardiff underway quickly check the team Obviously, Silva is suspended, so when Fretes can come back into the team. Mattox and Canteros, their energy is looking a bit low, so I'll bring them both out and bring Soriano and Benzia into the team. And we all look to get this game against Cardiff underway. First v second, Cardiff have only won one of their last three games. That was against Burnley. They've lost to Forest and Coventry. OK, a one all draw. Canteros opened the scoring in the second half after 54 minutes and Joe Ledley with an equaliser three minutes from time. Gunnison was sent off for Cardiff for two yellow cards. As the suspension is over to Guillermo Silva. And Thiago Medeiros has returned from injury. OK guys, I'll call it a day there. I'm going to have a quick scout around and see if there are any players who we can look to bring in. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.